My video, How Does a USB Drive Hold So Much Data, has 100 views by the point that this video is coming out, which means that I'm gonna give you a little bit of insight about how I became a YouTuber. I don't know, something about making videos. This video is gonna be really short, but it's kind of kind of just supplementary until I think of something else to make a video about. Make sure you comment anything that you wanna learn about in the comments down below. Basically, the most important thing when you make a YouTube video is that you have good sound. So if you're gonna invest in a YouTube filmmaker kit, then the first thing that you should put in is about $25 for a decent microphone. It could be a lav mic that'll clip on your lapel, or it can be an external microphone like the one I'm using right now. I am actually quite a fan of the Rode Video Micro. Now we can talk about video. So a lot of people are tempted to want to be able to see what they're doing and use their camera on their phone that faces the same way that the screen does. And that's fine, but at the same time, that camera's not really built for making high quality content. So flip your phone around, put a mirror behind it so that you can see what you're doing and your video quality will go up. Now you might not be able to see the difference, but people like me who kind of enjoy scrutinizing these kinds of videos, it really does make quite a difference. Now, like I said, your front camera is gonna do better in low light conditions, which means lighting is also an important thing and there shouldn't be too little of it. Right now I'm sitting in front of a window that's barely open and the camera's having hard, a hard time focusing and it's not going so well. The number one tip I have for you is to sit in front of a window and open it all the way. Don't let the, the wind in, but make sure any blinds aren't blocking off any of the light. Now that I've opened the blinds, it looks much, much better. There's one other thing that you can do if you're in a room that's painted a mild shade of yellow or blue. You can take a cam light, most commonly known as a clamp lamp, and turn it on facing the wall on either side of you, and that just kind of brightens up your whole set and it makes it a lot nicer and there's more light for the camera to be able to see. I'm gonna actually turn this down a little bit because the background's a little bright, but now the exposure is pretty good. All that this video is lit with is with a window directly in front of me and a light facing the wall on my right. And a word or two about backgrounds. Make it kind of nice, a little bit pleasing, but don't make it too distracting. First of all, make sure you, that there's a little more, bit more light in your shot because then your background will be a little more out of focus. It'll focus on your face, but that background will blur a little bit. And secondly, make your background intriguing, but not distracting. And also speaking of backgrounds, you can also talk about background noise and that's a thing to be removed with your decent microphone and also in post-production. Adobe Premiere Pro has some pretty good software for removing background noise, although it does end up sounding a little bit weird. And I'm sure that a bunch of other video editors have that too. By the way, uh, someone's playing the guitar in the background of my video and hopefully that's removed in Blackmagic Design's uh, post-production. You can see how that goes when this video is published. Also a word about costumes and like what you're wearing, make sure that you're not wearing a white shirt with a white background or a black shirt with a background, back, black background. Whoa, that was hard to say. Make there be some amount of contrast between your body and your background. Now your smartphone camera is probably gonna do the trick, but if you do wanna be able to see yourself on the go, then you might think about investing in some type of camera. It'll usually run about four or $500 with a, uh, with a screen that flips back and a microphone input so that you can attach whatever type of microphone that you want to use on that particular shot and location. By the way, this video is sponsored by me. I wanted to make a video, so I made a video. Although all the money that I spent on the gear that I used to make this video is actually coming out of my own pocket. If you want to help me along a little bit, maybe you can hit the subscribe button, defeat the YouTube algorithm because it is kind of a monster here in the small YouTube channel world. Or if you want to help me directly, you could check out my Alamy where I sell photos that I've taken to people like you that want to be able to use them. If you see a photo that I took that intrigues you, you can purchase it for around $20 and some of that goes to me and then you can use that image for whatever you want. So link for that is in the description. One last word, make sure that you share this video with anyone that you think might wanna have fun with a camera and post some videos on YouTube or you could share my video that's most succeeding, the one about flash memory and USB drives and that helps grow my channel exponentially. If that video continues its exponential trend, which it probably won't, it'll have around 170 views just a couple months from now. That's it for today. Make sure you comment about what you want to see me do, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.